What's going on guys? My name is Donnie Slants. Welcome back to the channel. So I have another Forza Horizon 3 challenge video for you guys. You guys seem to like the last one, so we decided to do another one. So this time we have Jack Ultramotive's R32 that you guys also seem to love in the last video. And we also brought in Black Panther's Lexus RCF. So we did change some things about the R32 just to make it a little bit more accurate than what it was last time. Just to make it a little bit more competitive because the RCF probably would have been a lot more powerful and a lot better than the R32 or what we had it last time so we just tried to make it a little bit more accurate and a little bit more competitive just to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys so so basically we're gonna put these cars head to head same challenges as last time although we're gonna add some different races we're gonna add one more extra race for you guys just to see if anything's different between the cars now if you guys haven't seen my last video I have Mac back in the video say what's up what is up guys so I have him back for this video cuz you know you guys seem to enjoy having them here. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how much different this will be than it was last time. Me as well. I think the car is a little bit more evenly matched. This should be very competitive. Yeah, I agree. Now, I'm in Jack Ultramotive's R32, and he's in Black Panther's RCF. So, just to spice things up a little bit, because I was in the R35 last time, so I'm going to jump in the car that I beat, which is kind of... I don't know. It's, it's a weird feeling, but um, maybe we can uh, try and bring some redemption back to the R32. Yeah, we'll see what happens. This R32 is going to have a street intake, street exhaust, an upgraded turbo, and it's going to be making 392 horsepower. Wait a minute. 392 horsepower, a little bit more than the last one. Now, for handling, we have sport suspension as well as some street tires and that should improve a lot because in the last video it seemed a little bit underpowered now it has a little bit more power and that's about the most you're gonna see out of an r34 setup at 390 horsepower all right so before we get started i'm gonna kind of you know tell you guys what we're gonna do a little bit more in detail so we're gonna do the same things as last time if you didn't see the last video i don't know what you're doing but you're, do you're doing something wrong you need to go watch that one but basically we did a drag race just to see which which one's better in a straight line and then we did a little circuit race just to see one's the better race car, of course. And then we did a little bit of an off-road, had a little bit of fun. Just, you know, you're not going to see these kind of cars going off-road. It's always nice to know which one might be better anyways. So basically what we're going to do this time is those same things, but in the mix, we're going to add a point-to-point -point rather than just a circuit. Just to maybe figure out which stats might be different about the car, see if there's anything that isn't showing in a circuit race that might come out in the cars in a point-to-point -point race. So we're just going to throw that in just to see if anything's different at all, and uh, I guess we'll see what the results are. Also, I see there's an actual drag strip race now. <laughs> yeah, that's always nice. <laughs> Finally got an actual straight up drag race. Okay, guys, the drag race is just loading up. Now, I do have more horsepower at 480. Now, the R32 is all-wheel drive, so we would expect it to win slightly off the line. But can we come back and pass him before the race is over? That's going to be the question. I just noticed as I'm going through my car selection, I have both... Both of Jack Ultramotive's cars right next to each other. I have a Skyline and then I have an RS right next to it. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I, I think the game's trying oh. to tell me something. But no, at least our, our class rating is pretty similar. You're a 795 and I'm a 785, so that should make it a little bit fair, but let's just uh, let's just see how this goes. Line as we expected. Oh, no, no. We're <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, that Jeez. shift got me. I thought maybe for a second there. You had a chance because you were really nice off the line, but man, the Lexus RCF 80, 89 more horsepower, 88 more horsepower, something crazy like that. Rest yeah. in peace, Stonics. <laughs> right, that that power definitely helped you. <laughs> Most definitely. No, I think uh, you have the lighter car too, so the power definitely took over there. That's true. Everybody, you need to put Rip Stonics in, in uh, you know, the comments. <laughs> Stonics is going to choose the first circuit race, so I'm interested to see where we're at. Now, I would expect, definitely choose something that gives you a little bit of an advantage. Yeah. Let's do a Goliath. You want to do a Goliath? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <No. laughs> so, basically, the way we're going to choose the tracks is, we're kind of alternating here. I, I got to choose the circuit track, and then he'll get to choose the point-to-point, -point, and then I'll get to choose the uh, off-road race that we do so I chose this little woodland circuit because it seems like more of a momentum track it seems like I might have somewhat of an advantage over his uh, 89 horsepower extra that he has over me so hopefully the R32 can pull something out of the hat now the Lexus RCF is up one nothing so I'm sure Black Panther is pretty happy right now but we'll see if we can continue now this is 
this is where stocks can really shine in the R32. Yeah, I mean, I'm pr I I'm decently good at the game. It's just I really have to focus my inner Godzilla and just exactly, you know, get, man. <laughs> gotta get That's the job it done. Is. Exactly. <laughs> the inner Godzilla, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have that launch. The launch, but we got the power. Plus, my shift speed is pretty slow, so every time I shift, it's giving you a little bit of an advantage. Oh damn! <laughs> Getting a little sideways up there. The R is so right on us. Yeah, I'm keeping up. I'm not gaining any ground, but I'm keeping up. So I mean, that that makes me happy at least. Yeah, literally anything could happen. I feel like these cars are doing really well matched right now. It seems like you're slowly pulling off. It's just a matter of how we both take these corners. All right, one mistake for me, you could take over. Hopefully, I don't miss the checkpoint. I would be so upset if I did that. <laughs> or hit a tree. Yeah. <laughs> like last video, I hit two trees on the last event. All right. Made up a little bit of ground on that corner. God. I, I just got to take these corners really sharp, because that's the only way I'm going to make up any ground whatsoever. Take that corner too well. He's catching up. Oh my god, I can hear his engine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's those straights that you pull away. Now, once we get right near the finish line, I have this nice little spot here where I can pull off some distance. Oh my I god. just have to trust the car and not brake way too hard. Yeah. I can hear him right behind me. Anything could happen here. I can touch your bumper. Oh my god! <laughs> the last corner! It's... No way! Oh! No! <laughs> He you that way better. The power, come on, catch back up. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. It's safe. I should have just threw the car in. Oh, damn. <laughs> How do you... This is two times now you've won on the last corner on the circuit race. I know. Damn. In hindsight, I think I braked a little bit more than I needed to, but I thought I was good. I noticed that. I saw that happen. I was like, oh, now's my chance. I literally have to take the opportunity <laughs> right now. Yeah, you took that with like as much speed as possible. You were just out on the grass, getting a little bit sideways on the exit. You could see you were exactly. definitely pushing I was, it. I got my heart racing a little bit. <laughs> got the blood pumping for the next race. I like it. Oh yeah. Well, well, now we're at one one to one. So I mean, yeah, that was, point, anything could happen. That was a crazy race because you were just very, very slowly making up ground every lap. Right. All right. So he chose the next event. It looks like there's quite a bit of straights, but I mean, you never know. There's uh, quite a few turns in there as well, so a lot of the momentum of this car could uh, definitely make an impact. Yeah, I didn't want to go all out and just drive in a straight line the whole time, but what I like about this track is I've always found it to be very, like, difficult. Uh, the braking points can be tough, especially if you're in higher class cars, and there's just a lot of corners that it's really easy to mess, mess up checkpoints, so I definitely recommend you... Uh, kind of pay attention as well as possible. I've missed many checkpoints on this circuit. This one, it's like you have some corners where you're going over dirt and then back on the road and you don't know where the checkpoint exactly is going to be and it's very easy because you're at high speeds to miss those points. So, again, <laughs> I love that... this circuit, but I always fail on here. All right, there's that straight line, the launch that I got. All of these shifts. My power is going to pull me ahead. Speed. We gotta make the most of these corners. Try to limit how much you're gonna catch up. Wow, you're catching that dive, up. That dive bomb, that dive bomb turn, that's what Damn. I'm talking about. <laughs> right on us. Well, we're right on him, actually. He passed us. He took that corner absolutely beautifully. Perfect. I'm trying to get as close to the red line on this thing as I can as possible, just because that every time I shift, it slows me down. And we're in a little bit of a straight now, so I should be able to make up some ground. There are going to be some more hairpins at the end where he's going to be able to make up ground as well, so I'm interested to see how much you're going to catch up after this straight. Jack, if you happen to be watching this, I think you need a little bit more upgrades, man. I don't I don't think the power just solely of the RB26 that you got in there is going to do you much good. And I'm going to miss that checkpoint. Oh, no. Did you miss it? Yeah, I'm going to have to pull around and get back My to it. God. Bro, I, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is oh a hard God. track. <laughs> I had to stop, then turn around, then back up, then now I'm finally going. Checkpoint has got me many times. Black Panther, I think, is going to get the W in this one. So that means, if, I, if I'm if i you know safe to say it at this point, we're going to be going in 2-1, leading by one event, going into the off-road race 
where the R32 does have a little bit of an advantage with that all-wheel drive. Off-road is never that much about straight line speed, right? It's, it's usually about how well can you maintain control of your car and grip throughout corners. I think you definitely have the advantage there, so we'll see what happens. Right. If you win I'm one, very <laughs> slowly making up ground, but I'm, I'm very interested to see how much ground I can make up before the end of the race. Because let's be real, at this point, there's no chance I'm going to win. You can make up some ground in these hairpins. And I'm off onto this strip right now, so yeah, it's definitely over. <laughs> yeah, I've made up about two seconds, so I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. Seconds, that's pretty good. Honestly, if you win the next event, we 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 have to like do some sort of tiebreaker or something. Because that'll be two I know. and two. <laughs> okay, right, so I get to choose the off-road race this time. I was looking around and I found this one. If I can figure out where it was. All right, so this is the race that we're gonna do. It's all off-road except for the very end, and there's a lot of turns on it. There is a couple of short little straights, so maybe the power of the RCF can kick in a little bit and see if it, you know, can't do anything, but, um, we're just gonna hop into the soft road and see what happens. Everyone knows the Lexus RCF is a great off-road car, man. I got no worries. We're gonna get the W. But we're late, and we have all-wheel drive, so, I mean... Being completely sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Final event, guys. Now, Black Panther, if you're watching this, and you've thought about taking your Lexus RCF off-road, we're about to find out if it's a good idea for you. I mean... I don't know, <laughs> but I'm hoping. I'm really hoping we can get something with this. Yeah, I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of curious if he, if, he, if he's even had the thought of taking that <laughs> off road. But I mean, probably not. But you never know, man. You need to give him the idea. <laughs> yeah, after this, if I get the W, he's gonna throw that rally suspension on. <laughs> we'll see Black Panther competing in the rally at stages. All right, all right. So I'm starting in front because the game knows that I'm at a disadvantage. So thank you, game. We are pulling up some ground, but will it be enough? Oh, the water. How I love driving through water. <laughs> Doing okay so far, other than the fact that you're pulling away from me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I think it's that weight and that all-wheel drive that's just overall helping me right now. No. Yep, I'm doing everything I can, but I definitely think this is going to be my toughest event. Come on, we're just getting a little wall tap in. <laughs> Trying to get some tandems going? <laughs> Why not, man? Some dirt tandems in the Lexus RCF. Oh, bro, I don't know if we're going to have what it takes to catch up. You're a couple seconds behind. Oh, oh the hairpin. Oh, okay. Well, if you can catch up now. I hit the... Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> Did you Completely hit a glitch in the wall? Car. Yeah. yeah. No, man. That was my chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I missed the checkpoint last race, so... Come on, man! This freaking rear wheel drive, heavy ass car, let's go! <laughs> Got a little bit of a straight here, so I mean, if you can a make up some kind of ground. <laughs> if I didn't mess up in the same spot you did, if I could have took that clean, then we would be looking at a very close race right now, I think. You would be catching back up to me, but... So, Jack, I know you watched my last video, and if you happen to be watching this one again, it appears that if you do off-road races, I think you've got that cat in the bag, but I mean... <laughs> if, you're ever, if, you're, if you're trying to do some, like, street oh, races, you might want to think a little bit. Well, man. that puts us at two and two, so we kind of need to do a little bit of a tiebreaker now. Yeah, and what's interesting is my event, I had a big lead on. Your event here, you had a big lead on. These cars are like very different, but at the same time, it's somewhat evenly matched. So I think this is a very cool challenge. I think it is too. Yeah. So what are we gonna do for the tiebreaker, man? Do I uh, do I hear a drift challenge, maybe? If you want to do a drift challenge, I am down. All right. I, th down. I think the way we're gonna do it is just go to a certain drift zone and then do it like run through the drift zone three times, and whichever the highest scores that you get, we'll just take the highest score. All right. Cool. And I was disconnected. Okay, that's awesome. Gotta love this game. Uh, no, this damn. game this game literally hates me. Like everyone in my stream sees this. It 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 will disconnect me for absolutely no reason. Like I'll be in the middle of the Goliath, I'll be like two laps in or something out of like a five lap or something like that. And it'll just yeah. ki it'll kick me just because it feels like it. And it, it doesn't happen to anyone uh, else. So since we have a tiebreaker here, uh, we're gonna go through this drift this little drift zone that we have over here. It's kind of over by the shipwrecks. 
So the way we're going to do it is we're going to each have three attempts and whatever the highest score is out of those three attempts we'll take as the final score and whoever has the highest score of course is the winner of the overall challenge. So I, I, I mean the all wheel drive is going to definitely put me at a disadvantage because it wants to straighten itself out but um, I'm kind of interested to see how the RCF does since it's rear wheel drive has more power. Now, you, you might think that it, it would maintain a drift a little bit better but could be surprised. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have the advantage. I definitely don't have as, as much experience drifting, but, I mean, this Lexus RCF is pretty known for being a good drift car, so <laughs> I'm hoping to do well. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go first. I'm going to get a nice little run-up. Hopefully the traffic doesn't get in our way too much because that's the last thing we want right now. Definitely don't want to deal with traffic. You shift down the gears, start drifting a little bit. Now, since this is all-wheel drive, I can't just maintain one single drift. I have to kind of just sway it back and forth, but still gets the job done, so I almost lost it there. I'll put it in reverse. All right, I'm going to end it off there, 15,000 points. Oh, that works. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if I can put that up. Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do. <laughs> if you guys are a subscriber on the channel, then you know I'm not the best at drifting, but uh, I have a big advantage when it comes to the car I'm driving, so let's see what we can do. Oh, really bad entry so far. And I don't understand how I got 2,200. I thought I took that well, but <laughs> 2,200 apparently. All right. Well, uh, there's obviously a little bit of a gap. So then we're going to run the same way that we went on the drift zone again for the second time. But uh, maybe we should uh, run the other way the third time. Maybe give a little bit of an advantage. See if that helps. All right. Sure. All right. So I'll let you go first this time. All right. Well, the last one was pretty rough in terms of skill points. Hopefully, I can do better on this one. We'll see. <laughs> My entrance was really bad. I was basically wasn't drifting the first half of it. And then I got 990 points. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'll take my run real quick, see if I can uh, improve it all. I mean, I don't know if I really have to, but... Might as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm putting down a score like that. Kick it down a gear. Now, I realize I could probably be taking some of these lines a tiny bit better, but, um... Don't roast me in the comments, because... I don't want to hurt... I don't, I don't need you hurting my feelings. I improved a little bit. 15.572. Well, <laughs> if I improve a little bit, I don't know how much good that's going to do, but... Right. I think it's quite evident uh, who won this challenge. Um, my highest score was 15,572, with his yeah. highest score only being 2,200. So I guess the RCF, <laughs> the kind of car we thought it might be when it comes to drifting. Weird, man. I, I, there must just be like something that I'm doing wrong, because obviously the Lexus RCF isn't a bad drift car. Like that, like everyone knows this is a good drift car. Rear wheel drive, 480 horsepower. Can't ask for that much more. But I just can't put up any points. <laughs> yeah, I think at that point it just kind of comes down to like player skill. All right, guys. Well, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, if you want to see us put more YouTubers' cars up against each other, then just let me know down in the comments. Now, I'm honestly kind of surprised by the results of this one. Um, I, I mean, of course I expected the RCF with more power to have more of the speed on more of the asphalt races, more of the straight line speed and all that. But I was honestly genuinely surprised on the off-road race as well as the drifting, to be honest. But, I mean, it is what it is. The results came out how they did. If you guys want to see anything from Max's point of view, I do highly suggest you go to his channel. Uh, his, his channel's been growing pretty fast, I have to admit, and it's it's pretty cool honestly thanks <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't go checked him out yet uh, I, I highly suggest you do pretty great content I mean plus you'll see me over there so it's, it's definitely worth it uh, we have plenty more collabs coming soon and I'm excited to see all the things that we have planned and I, I'm excited for you guys to see what we have planned as well so if you guys want to go check out his video that he's recording right now and uh, see his perspective of things then uh, I would highly suggest you go check out his video now of course you saw some of the things that he saw during this video but if you're interested in seeing more the link will be down in the description 
you know, stick around his channel for a while, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I don't know what took you so long to get here, but, um, anyways, welcome. Um, I, I live stream Forza as much as I possibly can almost every single day. Mac does the same thing, he streams at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, so if you guys want to go check his streams out as well, that's awesome. Plus, every now and then, I'll like, I like to raid his stream, so if you want to raid his streams along with me, then make sure to tune into my streams as well. I try to stream earlier on in the day, sometimes later at night, it just kind of depends. If you want to know when I'm going to stream, or if I'm going to stream, or what any updates on the channel, or if you want to see the videos a day early, then make sure to go to my Discord and click the link down in the description. Join my Discord. You can talk to everybody in there. You can talk to me. You, can, you know, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of advantages to being in my Discord. So I do highly suggest you go do that real quick. If you don't have Discord, it's you know simple to download, free to download. Just download it and click the link. It'll take you right to the server. So I hope to see you guys there. Until next time, guys. Just keep pushing forward. My name is Tom Clance. And goodbye.